he bumped his head and we all laughed at him so he did it again. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> Some mornings I'm like really excited about this meeting and some mornings we just do it. We have a confession to make. What's that? Last you cheated on us. Last week we went to first watch. <laughs> I knew you. But I knew it was like on it. Tuesday. It was so weird because I was like, I didn't see Ben today. That listen, was really it weird. Was, it was a one time thing because there was a buy one get one free coupon. Oh, was there? <laughs> and it won't happen again. <laughs> was it any good? We've been pretty good about getting omelets here, but Today, Ben made the first move and ordered an egg cheese biscuit, and I just followed suit. Mm -hmm. One of the things we did for this meeting is we came up with some guidelines for our kids with the iPod and social media. So, uh -oh. what I started to notice around our house is that the kids are on the iPod all the time, specifically on Instagram. We have one iPod for our family, and the kids have different accounts, and I can't even keep track of how many accounts they create. One of the primary concerns I have is the amount of time and the priority it takes in their brain. And this is not just with the kids, by the way, and I think this is an important thing to note is that we struggle with the same thing. And acknowledging that struggle begins with us because it's hard to know when you have this constant like dinging going on, ding, 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 like notifications. New, new information. <clears throat> That's much sexier than dealing with the people around you. How do we face that? And if we aren't doing it as parents, of course our kids are gonna be losing that battle. And second of all, we assume that our kids need and want help, um, at least on the deepest level. Of course, it's always hard to have something taken away from you. For me, every time we see them, it tends to be like just putting out fires. So we see it happen and then I'm like, put that thing down. And they put it down for like 10 seconds, then I walk away and they pick it up again. <laughs> and eventually I run out of energy, or we, us as parents run out of energy because yeah. it just is hard to make that decision all the time. Yeah. So hence, this is why coming up with some sort of like policy, rule, overarching thing as a strategy just for us dealing with our own energy levels with this. Because then we don't have to think about it all the time. We can just spend our energy enforcing the policy. And we can adapt it as necessary. This is what we did. 3 to 4 p.m. is the only time they can be on Instagram. They have their goals and posting things need to take priority over uh, like looking at notifications. Besides that, the iPod stays on the shelf um, by the coffee shelf and we're going to allow video editing because the kids like to do that on it, but only downstairs. <clears throat> the first infraction is they don't have the iPod access for a week. The second infraction, they don't have it for a month. I am not afraid to take this thing away from my kids <laughs> at all. I think uh, having access to the entire world socially is very dangerous. It's very difficult and I would much rather them prioritize at this age learning to work with the people around them, starting with family. So we're gonna try that. Besides that, it was a productive breakfast meeting. We're uh, taking a back way to our house because I got a hot tip on some good firewood.
when I saw those shrubs cut down at the division house, I thought, I bet he might like it. It, it smells good when you burn, especially. Okay, this is hot off the presses. This is the good stuff right here. We got home and Cammy is kind of sorting things out with the kids, trying to figure out if the schedule went like it was supposed to. And some kids didn't do their cleaning jobs right away. So Cammy said, hey, you need to do your job. And the kid starts talking back and kind of uh, explaining them like why it's not fair, blah, 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 blah. So this is our rule in our family. And this is like the lifesaver. This is the best one for our family. No talking back. Like when we ask you to do something, there's two responses. One is you do it. Two is if you have any questions or concerns or issues of fairness, we are happy to talk about it, but we're only gonna talk about it later. But this is what we find out. Like all these things about being fair, it never comes up later. Never, 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 never. Because it's actually, the kids don't actually really, really, really care about what's fair. They just don't wanna do it right then and there. Because if they cared that much, we would totally take them up on it. You okay over here? Yeah. If you spend all this time and energy explaining things to your kids always, and you view it as like, oh, well they're curious, and they really care about being fair, and I wanna be a good parent and not shut my kids down like my parents did to me, uh, then we spend all our time explaining things to kids. Um, so that's how we do it. We say, I'm happy to answer those questions, but right now, it's rebellion. Later on, we'll know if it's really curiosity. I'm mainly try it on Cammy, not me. Man, that looks really good right there. Do we really have 12 total? Wow. Okay, I'll let them know you'd like to talk to them. Okay. Keep your phone charged up and on you. I will. All right, any other questions? Um, okay, thanks for calling. Them. Thank you. Bye. So she's the mediator, and so she's gonna tell them to call me. Okay, drama alert is very high right now. We have some phone throwing, some tears, that kind of thing, because we just got an email stating that the passport application for Rainier didn't really, like, go through because his birth certificate was not filed within one year. Months. <laughs> so now they're asking for like baptismal certificate, school, school ID, or it's like, or hospital. We don't have any of that stuff like at all. Or U.S. Census Bureau, which I have no idea. What Bureau. That is. In addition to that, <clears throat> the taxes are due day. It's tax day. Happy tax day. And my taxes are not done, which is not really my fault. Like I filed everything, but our accountant is suggesting that we file an extension and I don't want to file an extension. I wanted to do it on time. But the good news is if we pay all our money today, then we don't have to pay any fees or interest fees or anything like that. Because in the past I've done that. So I think if we send the check um, and put the forms in the mail, then we can get it sorted out soon, I hope. So taxes are a giant mystery to me. I have no idea how they work. But, 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 we got, what was it? We got about $100,000. I don't even remember when it was. Maybe it was like three months ago or something like that. And I said, I'm setting aside $50,000 uh, for taxes, hoping that'll be enough. Check this out. The amount that I'm estimated to pay for 2016 is $37,000 with a required payment for Q1 of 2017 of 12 to $13,000. Let's say it's 13, 37 plus 13 equals $50,000. I'm like a CPA over here. That is actually a miracle. I, it was just 100% a guess. This is like the lottery to me. Gonna head to the post office personally to make sure these make it. There is a little bit of fine print with this tax guesstimate, and that is that that was just federal. So their state of Kentucky, which I have to drop off, that was just like 3,000 bucks though, so it's not as big of a deal. 
Then there's like State of Ohio that I think I have to pay for some reason because that's where something is. Then for some reason I've been paying the State of California. I don't know why the last couple of years. <sighs> so office is closed for lunch, 11 a.m. Hey. What's your name, Ben? I am Ben. Crawford. Yes. Oh. Uh, well, you? you don't know me, but <laughs> no, I am um, on Facebook and uh, somehow from some must have been common friends. I've been filming that uh, steeple just as like a way of taking pictures because I think it's kind of a cool landmark. But Linda saw some of my pictures on like Facebook because Bellevue is like so small that whenever I get some cool aerial shots, I always post it on their like community Facebook page. And the marathon is one, two and a half weeks away because it's the next day that's not on this calendar which means we have one, two, seven more running days to get ready. Today is an eight mile running day and we have two awesome pieces of good news. One is I just got an email from the race director. She said she's really excited about everything. There's no problems. And she's giving Cami and I the discounted marathon rate and she's letting the kids run registered for free. That's like saving us like 600 bucks or something like that. And they get to register, so they get the shirts and the medals and the food and the drinks and just being like legit. Oh, that is so awesome. To make our eight mile run easier today, we have these things which expire in like two weeks. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like the deal is at Chick-fil-A this month, it's like, a free fry and drink that we have to use in the next two weeks. So we're gonna include that in our run. We're running up a pretty big hill right now, which is good because the marathon has a few pretty big hills and I wanna make sure that Falia has some experience with that. His belly is orange. Okay. I'm gonna have her wash her hands before the french fries. Safety first. All right, we're almost there. We have one last huge hill. All right, last hill, guys. Let's go. We got it. Okay. Ah. This is really nice, just sitting here with some sweet tea and french fries. Try and forget that we have to run home. Look at that. Mm. Mm. All right, back at it. Ah, oh, I feel so heavy. That was a run. We did four miles and then we went to Chick-fil-A, got our fries and our sweet tea, and then we did another four miles. And it was a different route, most of it, which I was realizing that that's really disorienting and it takes a lot of energy to do a new route. But when you do the same route over and over again, it doesn't take as much energy. I realized I wasn't talking to Ben as much as I normally do because all my energy was being focused on this is new a new environment. My mother-in-law is making me a belated birthday 
dinner. We're going over to, I already said that. Just waking up for you. Yep. Waking up for you. Beef tacos, Beef yum. Tacos. Dinner was good. We're trying to get motivated to go watch our teaching time as a family tonight, but the weather is just so nice that it's hard. Hey, don't climb on that. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, check out this picture though. That is me and my dad in a race that I did. Hey, hey, hey. When I was, uh, it was 1987, <laughs> so I was eight years old. Look at that. That's what seven was eight. The first marathon you guys ran together, he was eight. Hey, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 don't. Hey, uh-uh. He's so mad. Seven, can you go put this on the table? All right, let's go. Sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. And when the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. 